It's midwinter in Connecticut, but at UConn, the action is heating up. UConn's basketball teams are on a path that leads to postseason excitement. While the men's hockey team is skating for Connecticut bragging rights, the women's team is going places it's never been before. Football is reloading, and NIL money is financing the program's growth. Right now, on the UConn Midseason Winners Sports Special. Sponsored on WFSB by the Connecticut Personal Injury Law Firm of Riscassi and Davis. Welcome to the UConn Midwinter Sports Special. I'm Joe Zoll. And hi, everyone. I'm Erin Connolly. Here we are mid-January with a pretty good idea of where UConn's various teams are headed. Yeah, there are still some games to win, lots of them, some seedings to lock down. But right now, well, it looks like it's going to be a big march around here. The national champion, UConn men, they started the season ranked fifth in the country, but just third in their own conference behind Marquette and Creighton. The Huskies won their first seven all out of the conference before losing for the first time at Kansas. They finished off the non-conference part of their schedule with wins against North Carolina and Gonzaga. The Huskies opened the Big East schedule. They had a loss at Seton Hall. Then, well, they've played through a six-game stretch without the sophomore center, Donovan Klingen. He's been working through a foot injury. And after a winning streak that included back-to-back -back road wins at Butler and Xavier, the Huskies moved into the number one spot in the country. But that's a dangerous place to be. Five different teams have been ranked there this season, and all of them have lost when they were there. Let's turn to the UConn women now and their season beginning like so many before. The favorite to win the conference and a lofty number two spot in the national polls. But the good times did not last very long. The Huskies lost three of their first seven games, all to ranked teams. Season ending injuries to AZ Fudd and Ayana Patterson left Husky fans wondering what else could happen. What else was a season-ending knee injury to Aubrey Griffin? The Huskies won six in a row before Griffin went down in the game at Creighton. Freshman Ashlyn Shade, KK Arnold, and Ice Brady have stepped up, helping UConn to an 11-game winning streak. And that streak helped the Huskies climb from a season-low ranking of 17 to number 9. There are still non-conference games coming up against 19th-ranked Notre Dame and top-ranked South Carolina.